everyone, it's Ridhima here and right now I'm, I can say not up in the mountain but up in the hill and you can see the whole um, city behind me. This is the whole city of Faridwa, you can see Ganges there, you can see the whole um, city over there, there is mountains over there. And if I turn this side, here is the whole forest area and yeah, this is the scene behind me. Why I decided to get into climate activism was because of a flash flood. So in 2013, uh, the Kedana flash flood occurred in my home state, Uttarakhand, and I saw the destruction on television. I saw people crying that they've lost their houses, kids crying that they've lost their parents' homes, and everything else that they had. I felt scared because when I asked my mom the reason behind the flash flood, she told me about cloud bursts and, you know, what flash floods are. Someday I just decided that I want to do something and gradually I started learning and after learning I felt like I want to take action. I got this opportunity to be to be part of the, the CRC complaint and I just felt like, you know, having kids from different, you know, uh, continents from different places which have been most impacted and you know doing this petition against you know the countries those who signed the child rights convention and you know if this complaint does bring out a positive impact it would be an example for everyone and it would be a lesson for all the governments if they do something wrong there are you know places like UN those who will take action against them and you know we kids are there you know watching them and you know we won't accept you know the wrong things or the wrong deeds that they're doing towards the environment towards and towards our future as well so that sort of is the reason i can say why i joined the crc complaint we'll still continue what we're doing but still you know we didn't got the justice so where are we gonna get the justice and why, how and when things are gonna change. You know they make big dialogues, big promises or their paperwork seems to be amazing but the reality, you know, the things on ground just say opposite to what they have been saying or what their reports have been saying. You know, if we really want to treat climate crisis as a crisis, it's really important for the governments, for the, you know, for the governments, for the organizations, for the activists all to come together and to stay, start taking concrete action, not only just on paper, but on ground as well.